we come to honor a worthy of praise. Take all praise. Let your word be exalted above your name. Let everyone here have a revelation of the fact you are worthy to receive our praise. Thank you, Jesus. Clap your hands for the Lord. Thank you, sir. That was uh, a lovely time of worship. Clap for them, please. Please, are you here? Thank you. Say a good amen. All right, John chapter 12, verses 20 and 21. John, the 12th chapter, the 20th and 21st verses. The Bible said there were certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. The same therefore came to Philip, which was of Bethsaida of Galilee, and desired him, saying, Sir, we want to see Jesus. The same therefore came to Philip, which was of Bethsaida of Galilee, they desired him, saying, Sir, we require, we request, we desire to see the Christ. Say amen. John, rather, Luke chapter number 21, verses number 34, 35, and 36. Luke 21, 34, down to 36. Take it to yourselves, ladies, that any time your hearts be overcharged with suffering and drunkenness and the curse of this life, and so that they come upon your own words, the Bible said, for as this know, it will come upon all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. And to stand before the Son of Man. Watch ye therefore. Pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. And to stand before the Son of Man. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. All right, let me take advantage of uh, a statement that Jesus made that is synonymous to what we are dealing with. Matthew chapter 26, verse number 41. Matthew 26, 41. He made a submission in that particular phrase of the scripture that I will love us to. The Bible said in uh, Matthew 26, 41, he says, pray, watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And this was when they had gone up to the Garden of Gethsemane whilst he was praying in the Garden of Gethsemane. In the earlier verses, when you look carefully at verse number 38, the Bible said, and then he said uh, unto them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. And he went a little further and uh, fell on his face. And pray, saying, O oh, Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass away from me. Nevertheless, not as I not as I will, but as thou will. Then cometh he unto the disciples and findeth them asleep. And he said unto them, said unto Peter, rather, What could ye not what could you not watch with me? Could you ye not watch with me one hour? And then the main verse is, Watch ye, watch and pray, that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. A similar statement to this particular one is in Mark chapter 13. Mark 13. Let me read from verse number 33. The Bible said, take heed, watch, and pray. So, um, in the previous verse, the Bible, the first one I read uh, in uh, 
book of Luke, the Bible was talking about take heed to yourselves. But in verse number 36, he said, watch ye therefore and pray. So he is talking about being careful, watchful, alert, but being prayerful at the same time. But here in Mark 13, 33, the Bible puts it all together and says, take heed, watch, and pray, for you know not when the time is. Now he is not only talking about the hour of temptation, but now he is talking about clearly the time of the coming of the Son of Man. I mean, at first, he was bringing our attention to temptation. Watch ye and watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. Now, he is not talking about temptation. Now, he is now making a clear submission of the time or the day of the Lord. That word time, maybe turn it to a different version and let us look at this clearly. The Bible said, be on watch and alert, for you know not what time, when the time, you do not know when the time will come. So he's making mention of a particular time. In another version, he says, be on your guard and say consistently alert and pray, for you know not when, listen, when the appointed time will come. Still talking about a particular time. In this version, the Bible said, so keep a sharp lookout for you don't know the timetable. Now he takes it even to a timetable. And then in the last version, the Bible was saying that be on your guard alert. You do not know when that time, that time will come. In my language, the Bible is saying ye and I'm going to stay in that particular statement for some time. Now, he, he is making up in the tree Bible, he is mentioning the day of that time. Now, he is not talking about that time. He is now talking about the day of that time. He was talking about Zephaniah chapter number 1. Verse number 1 to verse number 14. The Bible said the word of the Lord came unto Zephaniah the son of Cush, the son of Gedaliah, the son of Amaria, the son of Zechariah, in the days of Josiah, the son of Ammon, king of Judah. He said, I will utterly turn this into GNT and let it be easy for us. I am going to destroy everything on earth. God's word is saying, everything that we are building. Mami police, are you now you read? Are you now you read? And uh, I thank God for Diana, all the things that the Lord is able to give to us. Bless us and favor us and give us grace. Build houses, live in nice mansions. It's good, it's nice. I mean, I'm going to be dealing with a section of life. So I, you, you, when you are a boss in a company, it's nice. The feeling is nice. Me papa no mo wa hai mo yajuma in offices. When you are the big man. Where the decisions end, it feels good. It feels good. Even though, <laughs> even though it comes with enormous responsibility, when trouble starts, everybody looks up to you. You know, when you look at the big boss, the big boss doesn't do too much work in terms of we the make the people we call no, no, no. They don't do too much work. Their job is signing stuff. And then 
in chess meetings and then he will ask questions. What about this? Have you followed up on that? Robbie? They don't do too much work. It's, it feels good when you are the big man. You, you sit there and you, you are the big man. It feels good. But are you naive? Are you naive? Untias here. Just say, Ubiye wu. Na niye manu ane ye onone diya ne hone mu niye ma personally. The thing, the personal belongings that belong to that particular. You will never know that all things are vanity until, Tidia me beke, until the person passes on and the personal belongings of that person does not fit anybody. And we don't have any choice but to give it to charity. Sometimes, even charity, let me tell you, Nehman Wedebaha has secondhand clothing and all that. Most of them, 90% of them, are things that were given to charity. People gave it away and said, give this to poor people. And then there are places where charities sell those things to. And then our people goes to buy because there are dealers in second-hand clothing. And then they go to buy. Now we, we don't only have second-hand clothing. We now have second-hand appliances, second-hand stuff. And so you can have even second-hand pillows, second-hand braziers, second-hand briefs, ladies' briefs, gentlemen's briefs, second-hand. Second-hand suits, second-hand uh, beds, fridges, bless your heart, um, fridges, um, cookers, and all that. Second-hand. And if it's me, I can't tell you, second-hand fridge, you knew it be there. Yeah, right. When pan if it's me, I can't say, oh, no, second-hand fridge, you knew it be there. Oko wo mo e ton fridge for for do kwa anwa. E ni pepi wo fa omo mpe ni uwa. They, they want the second hand. Because Motonua, a runny fridge, you know, second hand, they only came from an environment where the standard is high. Into a check. Our standards are low. And so the things are coming into an economy where the standards are low. Especially when we are going pro, 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 pro. By the time you will get home, the thing is gone. Now, this is very, very interesting that I have nice things. I remember when my father, Kweku, said died and uh, among the things that we were going to decorate him, I went to his belongings. I found a lot of wristwatches. A lot. His birthday, me, I have given him three boxes of nice wristwatches. His, his 95th birthday, I gave him a nice watch. His 98th birthday, I gave him a nice watch. His 99th birthday, I gave him a nice watch. Then, when we wanted to decorate him, you know, he had that phone on, near my person the corner, I went to choose one of those watches. So give it to the undertakers and then let the undertakers take it. And then the suitcase near the corner and undertakers not forgot to put the wristwatch on him. And so when they were bringing the suitcase back, after they have used what they will use, I told the chief undertaker, take the suitcase and whatever is in it, take it. But he took that box of wristwatch and said, where do you be a hubi here? I'm sorry, I'm a hubi here. The here, I'm a hubi here. I'm a hubi here. I mean, I have heard people criticize me personally and said, because he had yet now you read about you are driving a car. Your car had yet now you read a. And your son can walk to the end of the road with a tow. Yeah. And none should say you can't drive a car. And here my family, my money, now all the things that God has given you in this life are to help you as tools, aids, enabling stuff. That are supposed to help you. More bay, you drove a car here, or you took a taxi, Uber, or Yango, whatever, to come here. That is to help you to become to come here. Your clothes, 
It's just helping you to go to work. Most of you are wearing uniforms. I was telling somebody that my uniform are nice suits. There are people whose uniform are nice suits, like the gentleman who came from the bank or an insurance company. They wear nice uniforms. Pilots, they wear nice suits. It's a uniform. Nurses, they wear nice suits. Police officers, you know. I mean, police is, 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 a, is a fashion designer or a fashionist. She sews a lot. And uh, when they finish the uniforms for the officers, senior officers, you will know that these are nice clothes. Very nice clothes. And the nice clothes are just to listen to this. The nice clothes are just to help you to do your job. So God is going to bless us with all things that pertains to life and godliness. And that is, that's, Esther, that is in 1 Peter chapter 3, I think from verse number 1, or 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 3, one of them. Look for it. All things that pertains to life and godliness, he has given it to us. He will make sure that the food you eat, the clothes you wear, where you sleep, the degree you seek, the wife you desire, the husband you desire, the children you desire, all things that pertains unto this life and godliness are given unto you. The Bible said he has given us all things. God will never take you to a dimension where he is not able to take care of you. Any dimension where you go, there is provision. Opa, my men rival won't go crumb baby. I a war. Baby, so say, Hey, it's a near woman. Did I win a near them? Who be will say, God's blessing has evolved. Or the way through one level to another level to another level, that he is, he, he has been good to you. Take your seat, please. This in GNT, the Bible said, clearly, listen to the, he said, God's divine power has given us everything we need to live a truly religious life through, through our knowledge of the one who called us to share in his own glory and goodness. In other words, everything has been given unto you. Everything. He is not now going to give it to you. The only thing is that it is now going to manifest. I'm telling you. There are single women sitting here. Your husband has already been released. It's just a matter of you meeting. It has already been given. Pastor Steve, I mean, all things means all things. Good to see you, sir. It's been a very long while. All things means all things. I knew a man who died, uh, I think, two years ago. Two years ago? Maybe last year. And uh, he was one of the people who really watched my meetings, listened to my messages a lot. And uh, I knew a gentleman who was looking for a space to start a restaurant. And then the gentleman had a space. The space was in a filling station. He started a very nice restaurant. The first day of the restaurant, First day, I mean day one. The people that came to eat the food in the restaurants were unbelievable. So the, the filling station owner became envious. And then said, I think we should sit down and renegotiate this again. Only one day. Witchcraft in broad daylight. And then this guy said, okay, so what, I, what do you mean? And then the woman decided to triple what they have already agreed. Said, well, I can't pay this. He said, if you can't pay this, then you can't start the restaurant. He had already started. Oh. So he stopped the guy. So this guy was looking around, looking around, trying to find a place. And then went to the house of this man who has been watching my meeting. And when he went there, he was wearing a t-shirt like just my father at Alabasta International Ministry. So the man saw the t-shirt and said, Alabasta, you go to Alabasta? Go for your dry watch him every day. I listen to him on radio every day. Alabasta, what do you want? He said, I'm looking for a space. He said, oh, space is for you. Answers Alabasta. 
From that day, I realized that a good name better than riches no ababro kano. Yemfeniyaku. No, yemfen. To 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 build a good name is better than riches. The work of God is done with a good name. Marriage with a good name. Life with a good name. Why do you think that when you are going to a new job, they want reference from the old one? Good name. They're looking for a reputation. And it's about to say, I'm driving at something. I'm, I'm, I will get to the point very soon. So this guy told the guy, Alabaster, yeah, you can have the space. Not knowing that the man was a very wealthy man in disguise. And all his children felt like he was a poor man. The man has a lot of gold, but hidden. Nobody knows where it is. So he took this guy, gave him a space, and then just took the guy like a son. I want this. The guy will provide it. I want that. He will run and provide it. Then the man started getting sick. Then the guy took the man to hospital and then introduced the man to his specialist. And then he was going to periodic every month, check up. That year, the man got very ill. And when he was about to die, he called the guy into his room and asked his wife, I mean, the stepmother, of his children, Waware Fofro, apart from their mother, asked the woman to go out. And then he spoke to the guy. He said, you have become like the son I never had. But I want you to know that I have so many properties. And I want to wheel all the properties to you. So go and bring me a lawyer. And then the lawyer came. Make up last year, was the last two years as a moment. The lawyer came. Then he said to the lawyer, as I see it is we give it to this guy. Give it to this guy. He had done last one. Give it to this guy. Me was a CB where brief. Give it to this guy. Or can't give it to this guy. I know I train one document. It's not the other guy. Not the other. There was one particular in the man. They treated the man very bad because they thought he was poor. And then he said, As I see, we are a day by my idea, a suchain in a honor good. It will be an imbedia. It is yours. And then he gave it to the man. Now, the guy was only looking for a space. And by the grace of God, he met a man. Dear dear man, no one because. Many people miss it in life. This generation particularly at the expense of everything. They don't care. They just want money. He was looking for just a space. And he met a man. Now, most of the assated here possibly might think that sometimes I didn't think I must start a restaurant and then suddenly it is sometimes God himself can close doors to reintroduce you to your real door. Sometimes, oh you can clap, I'm, I'm seriously telling you something. Sometimes bad things can happen for you to discover the good things. And so, when the Bible, I mean, God's blessing, for me, I have seen God's blessings come in disguises. It doesn't come as a blessing. When you are me, I'm here, you afraid, you may you are afraid, you may one day I see that. But if you know you are trusting him, praying, boom, a blessing is connected to you. Now, this guy took all these things. I said, Sasa, I said, we're so bad. And no, no, people in this one. The Korean group for a lands commission, Breme. For a moment, register Sasa, I said, no, in your name. 
And you move here and I make a joke. You know, I'm telling you a true story. Then he went and looked for some people from Lands Commission, surveyors from the survey department. And they went to the land to take the cadastral point, did a side plan, and did documents to register the land in the name of this person. And Jeff Papanabeyari, serious, took him to the Legon Hospital. The bills were like this kind of bills. No family member appeared. No family, including children. Nobody appeared. He called them. Your father is sick. They don't. They didn't bother. Your brother is sick. Your they couldn't. They were not bothered. Die minute. The man died. When the man died, instantly they came and picked him up and took him and put him in transition because. Somebody who knew him knew that man we our properties. We knew him knew our properties. They started taking his room for documents. But three months before he died, he had given all the documents to this guy. So the documents is not in the house. Man is buried. They started they, they, in the hospital, they inquired who paid all the bill. Said some guy, and then they was they started tracing the guy. And then when they found the guy, said, "Oh yeah, yeah, nobody. I only did what I had to do." What I needed to do, I did it. See if I Fans are seeing the feeling and all that. And then the guy sent his lawyers. Go there and secure the whole place. And then he took the family to court. And then the court said, bring your documents. <laughs> they don't have documents. You don't have documents. Then all the property belongs to the stranger. Now, I am speaking from the perspective of the man. I'm, I'm deriving on two lessons. Number one, to the man, all things is vanity. He has gold worth trillions of dollars. But when he died, he didn't carry any of those things out. So lesson number one, no matter how high you go, you will never exit this world with anything. Understand that. That is number one. Lesson number two. The treatment and relationship he had with this man led to inheritance. So, I see two lessons here. Your relationship with God or Christ is the biggest investment that you can ever make. But when you have a relationship with Christ, we develop that relationship just like any other relationship. I can never tell you that the love that I had for Dede when I was marrying her is the love now. The love has grown to another level because it is a relationship that I seek and desire to develop. So your relationship with Christ is the biggest investment for you on earth. And if you want to develop the relationship with Christ, there are few scriptures that can help you to be able to do that. One of them is Micah chapter 6 verse 8. The Bible said he has shown thee, oh man, what is good and what do the Lord do it require of you, but to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. It's very interesting how the GN, uh, the message version, this particular, very interesting. He said, but he has already made it plain how to live. We're well, making it plain how to live, what to do, what God is looking for. In men and women, it's quite simple. Do what is fair <laughs> and just to your neighbor. 
Be compassionate and loyal in your love. And the Bible said, and don't take yourself too seriously. Rather, take God seriously. Very interesting scripture. So, if your relationship with God or Christ is, the, is your biggest investment, then, my darling, the, you are going to understand the discourse of this particular one. God has made it clear how to live and how what, what to do. At any point in time, he is giving you the opportunity to know what to do. Jesus was saying uh, in one of the uh, Gospels, he, Papa, he said that when you are taken to the Sahindri, do not think of what to say because at that instance, your heavenly father will give you immediately what word to say, how to answer. This is why he keeps saying that never think of what you will eat and what you will wear and uh, where you will sleep and all that. But rather seek you first the kingdom of God and its righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you. Profound. So if the relationship with God is so important then to, to live righteously is plainly I would like. He said, what to do, what God is looking for in men and women is quite simple, but to be fair, be fair and just. Be very fair and just. Be fair. Be fair. Yeah, be fair. I want to ask me now. I want to ask me now. I say, in grow for hell, I want to be called Nanya. The woman you tear in your me, the woman you tear woman me. I'm telling you, earlier, yeah, come on now. Now, since you're not the baby, I knew her no. And yet, the yeah, you tear in your me, Nanya, you tear in your me. To be fair, to be just. To be just be fair and just with your neighbor. How you treat your brother. How you treat your mother. If your mother is alive, I think that your mother should be a priority. <laughs> if your father is still alive, your father should be a I was speaking to my mom, uh, my biological mother yesterday, I think. Uh, and uh, we were having a discussion of an event that happened in our hometown last month of a man whose children are very well to do. As a matter of fact, when the man died, the kind of funeral they did in our hometown, sister, in your common. But who paddy a cool papa a cool? Yeah. If I tell you some of the things, it will break your heart. Yeah, wolf of food near Trebiama, papa, no, I'm an eddie. You expect God to bless you, bless your heart. It doesn't work that way. I'm telling you, we wait for people to die. Put them in a nice mortuary. Announce one week. Bring caterers. Serve a big buffet. Party with our friends. Meanwhile, these people died in hunger. And in desperation, me a call casket shop. I could choose so American imported casket. Me a imported suit from London. Here they are shell. Kai pape di a umko si in wusu cemetery. I said we need we will feed that. The men there good UK no more buy. Oh my yeah yeah beautiful. The papa no was. A Presbyterian, they took him to a Presbyterian church. They did massive. When they got to Osu Cemetery, they put the casket in a wrong amount. 
in the wrong grave. So the graves were swapped. And then Omakan Yagus. Oma could do fear the dear we as a song more ye ye. And the woman of Oba Penino woman in your call. And the call was saying that your father was buried in the wrong grave at the cemetery. And now the people whose grave it is, you know, they have come. And the lady said, It doesn't matter, put them in my father's grave. They said, No. We have come, we have performed some rituals a previous day in that grave. So we can put him here. Come and remove him so that we can continue with our ritual. The woman collected a few young men in a pickup. They came back to the cemetery. What the mistake that happened was that when they came, the grave boys were not there. So they, they needed somebody to say, this is the grave or that is the grave. And nobody said that. So I have him. I have him. He didn't say we are and then they took the wrong one. Because they took the wrong one, you know, graves are measured before the casket is measured, and then the grave is according to the dimensions of the casket. Now you two. Into omo ya no name kum. So mugi yi wonji yi wan and sani timikumu. Sister, I fe ye ya da ke ya yin to me. So what did they do? Womu ye bi ya da kanas. No ma tampa pani fun to abon today. Make us some tea. They took the cops out and they broke Adakano because Omu Yia Egi. Omu Bubu Adakano Ye Yipie Ye. Omu Yipie Ye No. Omu Bubu Mua Egi Ye because Ye the screws Na Ye. Carpenter Nidi Ye Niho Neosi Niho. You know what they did to the man? Omu Dene Toho No Omu Dene Adakani Bi Tone Ha. If you are proud, come down. We are nothing except for the grace of Christ. Come down, come down. Yet, book missing. What? There you are. The man laid there for almost one hour while they were trying to sort everything out. Without him to mark at him, so anyway. I tell him, this one is a problem. At that kind of almost torn, almost about. Almost about thirty-five thousand Ghana Ye And one more kick at the chair. No one more chichiri. I'm only a man chichiri. We must cook for any of them. Any man we must cut two. When I'm here, we will nip out. Me found how opulent. Hey, we be meant to me. I was sure now. What just say? What China? Who I am, Obo? I'm telling you. Have you ever been to the dialysis treatment center? All these guys were guys who were doing good. A police officer visited me one. Young man, he's an Amora. When he came to my house, I said, I don't know why he late, sir. So, Papa, I call treatment. I said, treatment, Ben. So, I call dialysis treatment. I said, I don't know. So, I call kidney failure. Stage four. So I'm on dialysis. And I'm saying, now nah, then, now nah, you are still in uniform. You should at least receive some excuse duty or leave or some or resign or hey, Papa, na ya di tuya. So you are working because you need to pay. Yes. As he's coming now, I can tell you now. Goes into that. Nothing goes in. It. Suddenly, ne te bi asesa. Bi anaku living in life, unya na keti ya timidi bi kubwani krumu fo bi timidi bi esine da ena onda. Suddenly, everything is gone. So I am deriving two lessons, and the first one is that all things are vanity. 
And the second one which I am in now is to how to treat each other. How to live with your neighbor. Many mama come for two way. Many mama lazy way. Say me treat you more badly. A bayel son na hobia a can me and a member. Tia dear make up. It only Babranti be tonight. Only a baba will be tonight. Yin si si free. Don't try to outsmart people. If you are wrong, say sorry. Apologize sincerely from your heart. And let them release you. Yeah, my men can't say much. Me ni ni pa be brewa e ye du ya bo. Any no me which didn't come from the mouth. And no me ano obi 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 a me na no so odomeo. And no me ano came from here. What dome wo hada da? And the Bible said there is any curse without a cause will not stand. But I'm going to paraphrase it to the opposite. Every curse with a cause will stand, shall stand. Yeah. A curse, so the curse causeless shall not come. Put it in a different version. In this version, the Bible said here, curses cannot hurt you unless you deserve them. Another one he says here, look at this, he said, he said, so the curse without cause does not come and alight on the on the undeserved. In, in another version, he say he says he said uh, an undeserved curse as as from the dart of a of a rain or from the swoop of the swollen. Maybe I left something up there. In in another version, maybe the last one, he said he said an undeserved curse does not come to rest. In my language, listen to this. He goes in, you know, nomad, you know, Saran Suna, in Yabuhunu, Emem, Diabuhunu, Emem. If I should turn what I just said, Diabobia, in your woman, when you are so no, Ebebe. Think about what I'm saying. It wouldn't you are te, wouldn't you are ho. Be fair! Fair treatment. Be fair. Be very fair. That means Jesse Woho and Yama Green said, "A boy will be you soon, Opa." No. Be fair. Me be treated. No. And Rafu Timi Jije, you know, me do be co prisons, me do be co army, me do be co police. No me di. Where you? I told them to me because me I deal with a lot of people in uniform. Sometimes you are driving by the wall and you can see young officer. Yeah, the nadi ya bodan. What what a what a painful exit. Mm -hmm. It can be a painful exit. Di eno ti asase so a wo ye no na kunsun san so. Be fair and just. Be fair and just. And you know, for sin, you know, anger. Honestly speaking, I should be able to go a little deeper and tell you some of the things that goes on in a in a family home. But trying to, you know, uh, keep them in my service at, at the same time, trying to make my point. You know, as a wife, be fair. Be fair to your husband. Be fair. I said, you know, sometimes I tell my wife. Even today, I have told her that a marbre too. It not see be na me analyze ni e ma break too ma. Me ne me yiri me nu na ya ba sorry ko see da first second service ye we consultation we tu 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 tu. Ye na ya ko do fi ese so clock. E ko ye me ma jiji ade akonwa ma fa remote control na me 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 na me yiri ko mu ka se no akotam no dia be sme ni. Remote no e da me nche so de de won fa di ma me no asan fa ma. No, Emma Brit. So sometimes you as a husband found shame shoes and consider her say Sometimes you so quiet in fear. She so bad. You should you should be able to empathize and say, Usinema, Ukujaso, 
for the week. I pray. I pray. <laughs> I like the way I'm mem- <laughs> You know, I, I can feel the tension come rising to me. <laughs> Be fair and just. Be fair. Some, the Lord spoke to me recently to sow a seed. He said to me, take, a, take an amount of the year, 20, 2024, so 20, 24,000 Ghana cities, and distribute it to widows. Shout that thing out for me. Distribute it to widows. It should be for widows. We don't care what it's an instruction. You want to be blessed. And the Lord didn't say, if you do this, I'll do that. It doesn't make sense to but God does not make sense because He doesn't dwell in the realm of sense. God is a spirit. So God can come to you and tell you something to do. And honestly speaking, it doesn't make sense. But sometimes the price is too high. But if you are able to do that, see, I shared a story with us during a radical sound and said that there was a sofo, method is sofo. Now, method is sofo, no, ubi be chair na ponche. Anadrono, and an ear son, I say, a ponche no one. Ya jia no, everybody said me. Then, so funu so anya hwe ya be bom pa ya guso na ya mfa nya nkra kra na ya mfa ngufu ni tena ya kanche so funu baba ku din dia ya ponche na dia ye nyankoma de wo mu dia second two abua ni minimu na ne be ikuta ni minimu abua ni u ya na ne ba ne nsu to sister un fidi doso me am Jenai. Ya me own woman, my boy, because men no. And yet, those who change what they are. One more you share me no. It's not only from church. It's not only from government. It's even from from the vicinity where I live, where I go. I was traveling the other day. Last passenger. So one of our daughters, the manager at the airport. So, Papa, if I bet you, you know, um, uh, you know, my phone from the staff route, we're going through staff route. I see if I were another manager, senior to my daughter, hey, excuse me. And then my daughter went to speak to her. So, then I moved you to that route, you know, so I late open term and number two, a business class passing. was a business class passing. We business class passing. Also, his prophet would us, but the crown and Papa Nibufu. His prophet, Doctor Kufi, was probably like, don't even say the prophet. Who is prophet? Why are you whining? Wow. Patron is as a rising by the day. She do the funny say, Papa, we, but she am your blame. You could be here, you don't want it. What did you do? Lose God when it's a bad now you fool. Put the scripture back. Be, be fair and be just. Micah chapter 6, verse number 8. And I am in, you know, this version. The Bible says, Do what is fair and just to your neighbor. Be compassionate. Be compassionate. Come do you be near to an intumbo? I said that if your mother and father are alive, they should be your priority. Don't wait till they die and conduct a big funeral. Honor them whilst they are alive. Buy them gifts. You have done what was righteous. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Why are you be fair. 
boy, I wouldn't know where your mouth is getting. Who's your friend? Are they to block? Me say, and yet, you be yet, and you mean that you be coming from them. They are yet, 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 new, yano. Me see, me see, na evansa me chin the day a chimpuna. Say, 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 say. Or say it's not in me. <laughs> Are there any example? Will be say example. No cry. I refuse the example. Now me nene TV. Now me banana me share. Nene 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 say it. Say the fancy. Subi BS. Bit me ko high time. I will be for fraud. Nene money na wo. Yeah, well, do you must shame. And you don't need it anymore. Uti musu mo. Tell it. Be fair. Just. And what I would do to finish up my presentation are some of the remarkable statements from Reloaded. My father, Reverend Eastwood Anaba, made some very powerful statements. The first one he made was that you cannot be anointed and be miserable. You cannot be anointed and be me. I don't know what's going to be mouth so Emma will lie for masses. And what's not dear, and it's and what's not why it's a disciplinarian. The Bible said in first John chapter 2, verse number 27, Johanne and Mama, it did kind of it's it up a year, you know, you know, yet do you know, and so the Bible said, but the anointing which you have received of received of him abided in you and you need that you need not that any man teach at you but as they say that means that even the unction the anointing is a teacher the unction can be able to restrain you from going loose and astray hey, oh, gee, oh, gee. The anointing can do that the anointing helps you to as I said, you would be a one year brew, genia. The anointing, yes, sir. Anointing, yes, sir. Anointing, yes. They were walling my mother's house in our hometown. And then the MP of the place came and said that the MP is my uncle. The MP is my cousin. We are funny with your penny, so he happens to be like my, my uncle. So, and then they said, I was not there. So he told the workers, No, 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 I had no lame be the ha or one about lame him. Go be so said, you know. And my brothers came up, boa, or boa, or person, or when him say, who could feel drunk tea, or person, you know. As I said, No, in your media, you know, you be jamming. Bubu war. Hey, it took them one week. To carry my instructions out. Bubu war. I want me a book. I said, I'm saying, I'm saying, bra, you see, bubu war. Now, for fat baby, I was saying that. I should be. Bubu war, no, 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 fat baby, I said that. That's how I see me now, the whole thing you read. In the name of peace, son. Wait, sorry, mommy, guys. Get up. This, I'm telling you how this young man came to this ministry. We know your store boy on you be torn at the old Medina. Who is that? We are a store boy. If you are a good negotiator, you can add some to at the end of our You may be a whole fixed price. Oko abusu kanya. You may a ton abusu kanya fixed price. It was store boys. Mr. Mpedube car. Store boys in the baby. That is how they raise capital. At the end of 50 cities or 70 or any of my or 60 or no problem. When you have 10 cities, kaka 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 Utiye mi preaching na mekasi ubiya wenya dia one fatini ne sunde nyaya uti saa koko hidi ya ubutun kusi ya nyuwa na uto yeso elwe yeno ube wun kwasi ya uu na ube chemu miyeno 
And I quoted Jeremiah chapter number uh, 9 and verse number 17 verse 9. Jeremiah 17 verse 11 rather. I quoted this particular verse, put it in my language. And in this particular when he heard this and no cut a saw a dying papers. No, the core story and was a my am born. Tia de make an oh minim sa what ye cas away with Jimmy Nanka was a bomb pie cerebon. No fa tam fee no no deep new fee comma. Store for new food fee no they were shocked. The kind of house that this young man had built. And no more JP personal. And no more Pamo. But this is not said. Unsibia. Nyame oye no kwafo. Usu ni nyame ben nante. Jo o pa umwechi. Na fawa sinuya. You can never serve Christ and be dishonest. They make an all a zaf or no. The Christmas summa cattle woman in a in a sunny assum yam you. No, he that have clean hands and a pure heart who has not lifted the soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully. Psalm 24. And which verse is that? Is that he that have clean hands and he assume Christo and a pure heart. Is who got now? Sorry, be a more Ghana honey and jerichi the way and can was around what they do. I'm telling you, he that have clean hands and the pure heart who has not lifted his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the God of his salvation. Sila, he and yet, oh, so far, sorry, I can't because you will be blessed. Oh, no, he. He shall receive the blessing from the God of his salvation. Be fair. Be fair. If you are wrong, apologize. And let the people release you from the act. I apologize to people. In, in close setting, openly. I am wrong. I am sorry. It doesn't take anything from you. And it doesn't mean you are weak. Rather, it means you are mature. The public brain when we young go, my wife didn't go. We were with them, Patrick. And my mother, oh, we had a lovely time in a very short time. She's going to be eighty years on Friday, so I was I was spending some time with her. Yeah. And whilst we were having a conversation, she said to me, "When I married your father, I was very I was I was younger than he was. And any time I was speaking to him." And I wanted to raise my voice. He would say, don't raise your voice at me. And then my mother would say, do you, Mira? He said, case stops. Because me pacho unto us And they were married for almost 60 something, almost 70. 60 something, almost 70. And sorry, forgiveness was fuel in it. Women now deep in with the empire show. Why? Case closed. You know, Jamie and my job work we this is why there is no stability. And to now home and see see me as a man we boom cross the unmen come sister yem fast. Ubake to an okra within the woof, you be you are both friend more. The moment I wore ban, where's a word tiabo frano? That thing begins to rise. Hallelujah. I finish the service by telling you be fair. Be fair. Ununiana, be fair. So your relationship with Christ is your biggest investment. And then number two, your relationship with your neighbor follows. After revival, all this impartation, take the anointing and go and do something for the Lord. But in your pursuit, T, in your pursuit, be fair. Be very fair. The scripture about Micah 6, verse number 8. Look at how the Bible puts it, and then I'm closing. 
Yeah. To do what is fair and just to your neighbor. Be compassionate and loyal in love. And don't take yourself too serious. Rather take God. Don't do it. Wouldn't but we are why you say we'll be dinner near and go in. Be fair. Be fair. I could tell you, be fee, mobu bulu verse, more say, and let you feel almost say, and here, ma. A dear way, a dear way, and be fair. Very fair. Hallelujah. If somebody insults your integrity, you wouldn't like it. Don't do it. Be fair. May the Lord bless the reading and the preaching and the teaching of his word. And give us grace to grow and help us to mature and to carry our cross very well and follow Jesus. Stand to your feet. Let's pray. Are you clapping? Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The two hands are on your heart. Una ufreye say I'm ramay wa juma. Una ufreye say I'm ram. Say
Every effort you are making, whatever you are believing and trusting God for, we bring it all before the throne of God. He asks that the grace of God will be your portion. May the Lord himself come through for you in the name of Jesus. May the Lord who blesses efforts. statements that Pastor Eastwood made during Reloaded I reposted it it has created some controversy but I will take my time on Sunday to deal with it and the statement was I quote you cannot be poor and preach to the poor you cannot be poor and preach to the poor it's true one of the people I was explaining from the US who who wanted clarification? I said, go, you will get the statement. Go and watch the whole video. You can't just take just one single statement and, and, and uh, suppose you understand that. And I said, as I'm speaking to you, I am on my way to a crusade. That crusade has a bail. That without that bail, we can't do that crusade. It's true. You cannot be poor and preach to the poor. This broadcast is going places. There have been light outs, power cut in the whole of Accra today. So, it is taking something to put us on. Put all the equipments on to be able to be transmit the gospel. When you are broke, one camera is 30,000 CDs. At the time we bought it, four years ago. Four of them, huh? 120,000. Other accessories. Of, you, you can't be poor and preach to the poor. I can boldly tell you that because W3 is transmitted on 15 media platforms. You can't be poor and preach to them. It's true. So then what is the solution to that? Don't come sitting up in the house of God, playing around. Because you can't live in a crowd and just be a holiday maker. Buckle up, buckle up. Fasten your seatbelt. There is work to do. All things are vanity, but if Jesus don't come tomorrow morning, you, your children will eat. You will pay school fees. You will buy petrol. You will pay rent. If Christ does not come at the end of this year, your bills will be increasing next year about this time. Rent will not be the same. School fees will not be the same. Therefore, if you are just, oh, Charlie, you know, one corner near by and all, you are joking. You must be a smart worker and know how to make money. Hallelujah. The two hands are on your heart and I'm asking God to bless the works of your hands. Let's start. That is in Psalm 92. Let the work of our hands, let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us and bless thou the work of our hands. Yes. Let the work of our hands be blessed. I think it's some 90, last verse, verse 17 or 92, 17, one of them. Let the work of our hands be blessed. Let the work of our hands be blessed. Can you pray over your enterprise, your business, what you do for a living? And remember to pray for your children. Come on in the name of Jesus.
Remember to ask God give you wisdom how to maximize, how to increase, how to grow, how to be creative, how to be innovative, how to be smart. Come on. In the name of Jesus. I declare the favor of the Lord over your enterprise. You will never run dry. May the Lord continue to favor and bless you in Jesus' precious name. May the Lord prosper your finances and grant you the anointing to be a soul winner. In Jesus' name, amen. Pick up your offering. I declare the heavens open over you in Jesus' precious name. before we go. Saturday is our sister's wedding. Sunday is our brother Wanda's wedding. Uh, don't miss any. Put both on the screen. Let me make this clear before we go. Uh, okay. Saturday is Millicent and uh, Solomon uh, at 1.30 and then Sunday morning is uh, Wanda and Josephine at the Church of Pentecost Padama. Uh, I cannot meet all the pastors of the church and then let's, you know, strike a deal on them. The Lord bless you. The two hands are lifted. All you guys online, thank you. We love you. Thank you for coming. When righteousness becomes a lifestyle, the breakthroughs become automatic. See you tomorrow morning on radio. And then Forest Empire Bokes here in the morning, 8 o'clock to 10. Don't miss. The Lord bless you.